In this section, we will talk about content in AirWatch. As you can see, we have three sections here and the first one is content within the admin console. The VMware AirWatch Mobile Content Management, sometimes if abbreviated MCM, those solutions help your organization to address the challenges of securely deploying content to a vast variety of mobile devices. By the use of the AirWatch console and a few key actions in there, you can create, sync or enable a file store known as a repository. Once this is configured, the content will be deployed to the end user devices and can be opened there with the VMware Content Locker. So let's have a look at some requirements. We will always know there are some requirements which come from the users and there are requirements which coming from the IT or the corporation. From the user perspective, it's very easy. They want to have the data everywhere, device agnostic on any device, a very modern interface and easy to access. They want to work with the data, share it within the regulation of the company, of course. The users want to treat the data like when they go to a concert. They want to have an all access backstage pass, right? So from this perspective, it should be very easy for them and very smooth to integrate into the workflow, which they know already from their mobile devices. On the other hand, we have the necessities of the IT department because we need to exchange the data or move the data to the device in a secure and controlled way and there should be an audit trail who sent what data to maybe external participants or something like that. And as we all know, mobile devices get lost or stolen very frequently, so data loss prevention is also a real big topic. In this demo, I will show you how to add content with the admin console. Okay, you have seen I have already logged on to the AirWatch console. I go in the main menu to content. But before we add content, I will tell you something about categories. With categories, you can group content within the AirWatch console. So you've seen, as you can see, I already have a category called Picks. I will create a new category and I will give it the name PDFs. And you can also enter an optional descriptions. And then I press save. Easy, right? Okay, now we go to content list view. You see I already have also added a graphics file and now I will add content to the AirWatch console. I press on the button add content. Then I'm going to select the file. Going to the folder where I have prepared the content and as you can see I have already added the VMware AirWatch 1 GPEG file and I'm going to add the VMware AirWatch 2 PNG file. The add content wizard starts Let's start with the tab information. Of course you have to enter a name. You can do versioning. You also can add a description here. And here you need, and it's mandatory, add a category. I will go with PIX because it's a graphics file. Let's browse through the other tabs. We see details. You can add information about the author, keywords and subject. Under the tab security, we can enter our DLP settings. Some of those settings are dependent from the AirWatch SDK. So we can allow open an email or we can allow to open this file to be opened in a third party app. We also could add a watermark. And when you can see there is an information eye right next to it, the watermark text has to be enabled in an SDK profile. So the others are assignments. Here we can choose to which device ownership devices we want to push or make the content available to. The organization group has already been filled out because we are operating in our demo EUC group and we also can filter on user groups. Deployment is also very interesting. We can choose any transfer method or Wi-Fi only. So with any, it's 3G or 4G or whatever newer network comes along. We also can say, yes, we allow to download the content while in roaming. Is the content on demand or do we want to have it pushed down automatically? Download priority and then we have required featured and effective date and expiration date. Effective date means when does the content become available? The expiration date is very self-explanatory. When does the content expire? Maybe this is interesting if you have something like price lists. Required content this is a flag for the content when the end user must download and review the required content. Okay, now we click save and the content is being added to the AirWatch console. Particularly, it's also stored into the database of AirWatch. Okay, now I'm going to repeat this step. Also again, clicking add content, going to select a file, but now I'm going to select a PDF file. I choose a different category because it's a document. 
I leave all the others at the default values and then I press save. And the last document. And here I'm going to choose the deployment type automatic. So now we have added the content successfully to our AirWatch console. Now I will show you the screen of my mobile phone, which is an iOS device, and we will have a look how the content looks at the end user's device. You can see now the home screen of my device, and I'm going to open the content locker. It's authenticating, probably pushing some profiles, and we see recent files which I already have opened during the tests. So now I go on repositories, corporate content, and I see PDFs and pictures. These are my two categories. Now I'm going to open pics. You see the VMware AirWatch 1, which has a green circle. It's an automatically deployed JPEG file, and the PNG file underneath is an orange one, which can be downloaded. If I click on the orange circle, you see the file is being downloaded, and I can open it. If I go back, PDFs, you also see there are two PDF files. The second one, the AirWatch 2, I have set to automatically download. You see the green circle here, and the VMware AirWatch 1 PDF has an orange circle because it has not been automatically downloaded. So just click on the PDF and it's loading and you can see you can pinch and work as you are used to work with an iOS device. The VMware AirWatch 1 PDF, I have to click on the orange circle, you see it's being downloaded and then I can open it as usual. So this concludes now the demonstration, how can I add content directly to the AirWatch console. Now we have seen how we can add content via the admin console directly to AirWatch.